This project will serve as the backbone of Hong Kong's public transport system by providing a vital new link between the Northeast New Territories and urban areas with convenient connections to the existing railway network. The Samsung Xinchong JV is proud to present this 3D visualization depicting key construction methods we intend to employ and demonstrating our commitment to the earliest possible delivery of this groundbreaking project. Our team achieved synergy between Samsung's world-leading underground metro experience and Xinchong's extensive local knowledge and expertise. The Tokwa Wan station is the single most critical component of this project. To maximize safety and minimize impact on traffic flow, diaphragm and cross walls will be installed and the station will be constructed by top-down methods. D-wall panels will be excavated while being supported by bentonite slurry. Then, reinforcement cages will be inserted and tremie concrete will be placed. After the D-walls and cross walls are completed, station construction will proceed using sheet piling to facilitate roof slab construction. During temporary traffic management scheme stage one, also known as TTMS, initial station construction will commence, including relocation of the bus stop, installing D walls and cross walls, and installing the west half of the roof slab. During this stage, the bus stop will be temporarily repositioned. Safety guides will separate the work areas and allow passengers to safely board without interference. During TTMS Stage 2, the bus stop will be moved back to the original location and D walls and cross walls will be installed on four blocks in three different phases. This construction sequence continues and the top-down process advances below ground with the subsequent internal slab construction, allowing completion of the station box structure. At Sung Wong Toy Station, the green section indicates the need for archaeological surveys. Construction will start at the south end, where the TBM launching shaft will be built, followed by gantry crane erection, substation, slurry treatment plant, and segment stockyard. Station piling work and excavation will follow in phases. The TBM will be delivered in sections and assembled on site. A TBM thrust frame will be erected to permit the TBM to push forward and commence excavation. The concrete segments will be installed as the TBM advances. Back at Tokwa Wan Station, temporary roof slab openings will be used during TTMS Stage 3 to support excavation and material deliveries. Initial excavation will be performed from street level and then smaller equipment will be used from beneath the slab. The lower track TBM is now passed through the station. Excavation will advance for the concourse slab followed by slab installation and excavation for the upper track slab. Then the lower track TBM segments will be removed and the lower track slab will be built. By then, the upper track TBM will arrive at the station. At the TBM entry and exit points, a lower temporary slab is built. The TBM will travel on a special cradle with Teflon slides, allowing the thrust jacks to push forward. Temporary openings in the concourse slab will provide the necessary clearance where the TBM advances up and over the permanent slab. Slabs will be supported in any areas where lower excavation has advanced. To resist buoyancy, many piles will be installed and then the base slab placed to complete the station structure. South of the station, the board piles and pile walls for Pier 15 of the East Kowloon flyover conflict with the TBM tunnels and will be removed prior to the TBM's arrival. New pier foundations will be constructed and then the obstructing elements will be demolished. Due to the limited headroom below the flyover, a shallow excavation will be constructed and reduced height equipment will be used. Two sets of specialized rotators will execute the pile removal work in successive stages. After pile removal is completed, Ground treatment will be done to minimize ground disturbance during the subsequent TBM excavation. Back at the Sungwong Toy Station, 
Excavation is completed and the station structure will be constructed in stages, followed by backfilling and site restoration. The success of this work relies on rapid diaphragm and cross-wall construction and closely controlled TBM tunneling. The Samsung Shincheng team is confident in our ability to successfully execute this challenging and vital project for the people of Hong Kong.